Hey guys, it's Fury91. I'm going a little bit off topic. I believe this issue does happen in games, but not as much as it happens in movies and series. I do think sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes um, people blame the fans for why a game wasn't successful, but it just doesn't happen nearly as often as movies and series. So we're talking more about movies. I was reading this IGN article that was talking about, I'm just going to paraphrase. I didn't read the whole article. I kind of skimmed through some of it, but the person who read the article seemed to be trying to convey the message that we need to be talking more about like whether a movie was good or not, you know, director and stuff, not about how much money it made, right? Now, personally, I think there's a balance there because both are important. Someone in the comments pointed out that like, you know, when a movie doesn't make much money, a movie that someone likes, then a lot of times that means, or sometimes at least, it won't get a sequel. So that's sad for the people who are actually fans of the movie. So yes, there is some importance to making money. So yes, there is some importance to making money when the movie is released in the theaters. And then someone else pointed out something, and I'm not going to say any names here, but someone else in the comments pointed out that, you know, I'm just paraphrasing, blaming the fans does not help. And yes, this whole new tactic, and I'm not even going to say it's really the directors, I think some, but not all, or the producers or anything like that. But you see this in articles and of course on certain YouTube videos, people blaming the fans and calling them toxic, basically simply for not liking a movie or not liking the series. Like, that's got to go. It's got to stop being used as an excuse. And to me, it's like, if you like a movie that a lot of people don't like, that's fine. Just say that. And just, just, just be honest. Like, yeah, I like this movie. I know a lot of people didn't, but I like it. We all have different tastes. That's fine. But guys got to stop blaming people who don't like the movie and because of the box office or whatever, or series, or because of the money, it didn't make much money, there's no continuation. You gotta stop blaming people for that. Because what you're kinda doing is putting the responsibility on fans to watch the project. Or people who are fans of maybe like the franchise, but not fans of that particular movie, to actually watch a movie they don't like. It's almost like saying, hey fans, it's your responsibility to like whatever, insert franchise here, puts out. No, it's that franchise's responsibility to put out what the fans like. That's the thing. Now, neither should be taken to the extreme, okay? Neither. But in truth, we're just getting too much of this. Like when George Lucas, I'm using Star Wars here, because Star Wars, let's face it, was a big chunk of this. When George Lucas was criticized over the prequels, I don't believe, if, if he did, hey, you guys let me know. But I don't believe he turned around and said, fans, it is your fault for not liking what I put out. I don't believe that's what he did. I believe he took it like a champ. And... The fact that, and I'm not saying a lot of directors, I think some, but not, not, I'm not saying a lot, or producers or companies are the ones that are, that, are, that are the ones that are turning on the fans, basically telling them it's, you guys are toxic, you guys are ad-ist or ism here, you know, because you guys just don't like it because it's a woman lead, or you guys just don't like it because we put people of color in it, which are, which are such bad excuses. Because then these same people ignore when people of color and women leads have box office success successes. They, they ignore saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, 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 no. It's a bad excuse, okay? So guys, all I'm really saying is this needs to stop. If you bring out a project or if one of your favorite projects wasn't well received, just accept that. It's a poor excuse and I think it's just a way to deflect blame. Because sometimes I think even the people saying it know that the project had a lot of flaws, right? But it's just easier. Um, this is similar to what someone pointed out in the comments in IGN. It's just easier to deflect blame on the fans. Blame them for not liking a project you liked. Or blame them for not liking a project that belongs to a franchise you liked. It's just easier to say that rather than admit, hey, we messed up. We haven't been giving the fans what they wanted. We haven't been focusing on what we should focus on. We've been too much. Um, I'm not, not, I'm not going to go there. But I'm just saying, it seems like it's such an easy excuse for so many people, YouTubers, um, journalists, I guess I'm going to call them, and people who write articles just to blame fans, even when the fans are giving legit criticism when a project fails. But what do you guys think about all this? Let me know your honest opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching my like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.